The whole my heart is a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on the big one. We're live on YouTube, TikTok, and we're live on Twitch and Facebook. How amazing is that? Welcome to the internet, phone in one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment, not just for one nation, but for all nations. Lovely, lovely to have you with us this Saturday evening. Do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Evening, Scott. Evening, Chris. How lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. How amazing is this that we're all together on a Saturday evening with so much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Uh, welcome, 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 I say, as everybody is joining us big style. That's what it's all about. I can tell you. Uh, evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Scotty McClure, just for you, saying dinky do. Hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, the world's most humble man. Follow me as soon as you come on on the TikTok and subscribe on the YouTube. Very, very important. Hi, Scotty, says Susan. Hi, Susan. How lovely to have you with us. I hope things are okay for you and that you're getting through the week. Tremendous stuff. So the uh, first thing to do, thank you, Chris Grant, for your very, very generous TikTok gifts. It's such a really kind thing to do, and thank you for that, I say to you. Now, uh, if you're uh, watching right now and you want to phone us, we'll be opening the phone lines up shortly. And if you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch or on Facebook Live, you should see right across the bottom of your screen the number to ring for the internet phone in. How good is that? Hello, Scotty. I hope you're well. Kareem, thank you very much for joining us. And there's Martin saying hi, Scotty, and dinky-doo, dinky-doo to you guys, of course. Good evening to our favorite Scotsman. I've just had Chris send me 10 TikTok gifts. Is that new? Beautiful. RT2000, I thank you. Damien says, hi, Scotty. Did you wish me luck? I'm opening an umbrella shop in Lanzarote. Oh, good luck with that. There we are. Trade might be a wee bit slow to start with, but it might become a fashion icon. And then you are in business. Uh, I'm okay, thanks, Scotty. Says Susan, good. Susan, well done. Good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick. Gordon, always very reassuring to have you with us. Thank you for your loyalty, your generosity, and your support over not just a few years, but let's just say 35 years, something like that. Dinky do. Excellent stuff. Dinky do and felicitations to you, sir. Bailey, the Black Labrador. How lovely to have you with us. Kareem is sending me gifts. He's wanting me to get fit. He's sending me footballs, tennis balls, uh, TikToks, all sorts of gorgeous things. Kareem, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think you do. Yes, indeed, to every single one of you. Hi from Ayrshire. Hi from Ayrshire, says Andrew. Uh, just became a top viewer. Well done, Kareem. You've just become a top viewer for Scotty McClure. Hello, Scotty from Missouri in the USA. Fabulous having you with us from Missouri. And we had somebody on earlier from Mississippi. Just amazing. Wonderful stuff. Now, I'm going to open up the phone lines. I want to know what you think about everything that's going on. Nothing too heavy, of course. There's Jerry, evening all, and Mr. McClure. Evening, Jerry. Lovely to have you with us and a big dinky do to you. Uh, what's the dictionary definition of dinky do? There's Chris is sending me 20 TikToks. Chris, thank you for 20 beautiful TikToks. You're very, very generous, you guys. Uh, say happy birthday to Julie. Yes, I can, Julie. Julie Foster, and have a happy birthday from all of us here. Dinky do from Scotty McClue et al. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Joe. Uh, I meant hello. Hello, Joe. Yes, hello to you. Hi, Jerry. Dinky do. Evening, my good fellow, says the wonderful Murray O'Donnell. Murray, I can't thank you for the quality of your chat last week and for your generosity and kindness in tapping the dollar on the bottom left of the old YouTube there and sending me such a generous gift. Fit like a night, Scotty, says Petroheed. Aye, for your dues, Petroheed. And uh, there we are. What have we got here? Did you ever have 
an Atari. There we are, the Atari. Do you mean, did I ever have a, a soldier wearing a berry? Um, you know, wonderful. You're working at any radio stations at the moment? Not right at the moment, you are. Um, I came off the radio over a year ago. So there we are. So we're doing the TikToks and we're doing the YouTubes, the Facebook Live and the Reddits. Get onto Reddit and get onto Twitch. YZ Active, thank you for your kindness. Scotty, why did you have a different name? Oh, I see. Right, fair enough. Howdy, Scotty, from Austin, uh, from an Irishman. Dinky do Reddit. That's a new one. Johar, yes. I'm on Reddit uh, at Scotty underscore McClure, if I remember right. I'm on so many things now. I have to try and remember what the handles actually are. Dinky do. Welcome, welcome, I say. Kirsty, have you applied to have Dinky do in the dictionary? Good one, VJ. Very, very good comment there. Have you actually applied to have Dinky do officially? in the dictionary that's what we want to know scotty you're just wonderful a true king of scotland flying norseman i thank you sir you're very very kind a uh, second attempt is there a synonym for dinky do dinky do just means is all well with you and the world it's been my catchphrase for 30 years uh, in this june <coughs> there we are angela crawford thank you for sending me these beautiful red roses you're very, very kind. Now, Matty White, you really, really, really need to grow up big time. You should be very, very, very ashamed of yourself. And to even think about trolling Scotty McClue is such a massive no-no. So what we're going to do with Matty White is send him down the Swanee on a lifetime ban for being an idiot. Night, night, Matty. And bye-bye for good. There he goes. That's the end of Matty. What an idiot. There we are. Scotty, uh, there is a true you crash the national phone works. It is flying Norseman. And it cost £75,000 to fix them after McClue had set up his phone-in show. What does Dinky Doo mean, Thomas? Dinky Doo means is all well with you. And the world, lovely to have you with us, by the way, Thomas. Uh, I'm good, Susan. Dinky Doo, excellent stuff. Now, Chris Grant, your generosity is just huge tonight. Huge. Guys, I've never been so spoiled with TikTok gifts as tonight. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Now, what do we got here? Matty's laughing. He's had to go. Apologize, Matty. Too late. He's gone. See you, baby. See you later, Matty. See you, everybody. 35 TikToks from Chris Grant on top of all the others before. How generous is that, I ask you. I'm just going to have a quick comfort break here, so bear with me. Woo -woo. It's so hot in this studio tonight. Incredible. Will you be my dad, says Robbie. Thank you, Robbie. There we are, but you already have a dad, I say to you. Uh, now then, Scotty, why are you in a different location from usual? Well, we're not really in a different location. We're just in a different part. There we are. Fantastic. I'm nearly getting to 3,000 likes already, guys. Tremendous. There we have it. The mighty, magical Mr. McClure, Scottish Mac. How lovely to hear from you. I'm going to open the phone lines. Otherwise, we'll be dinky-doing all night. Phone lines are now officially open. Get to your telephones and ring Scotty McClure. You'll see the number across the bottom there. 0141628. 9795. There we are. Who is this? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Oh, Hang on a minute, Martin. We can't actually hear you on here. Give me a wee second. Can we hear you now, Martin? Hello. Yes. Hello, Scotty. Hello. That's excellent. Welcome. Welcome. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do. How's your, um, how's your day been? Day's been absolutely outstanding. We did a wonderful live this morning and everybody's watching it. Uh -huh. See that um, video you posted about Ken, uh, about Ken Yes. Uh, that's, that's right. Yes, indeed. Yes, I am. I am. I am watching this morning. Um, I was um, I was a nice Well, I'll tell you that was 15 minutes after Buckingham Palace announced it. 
Yes. That's pretty quick, isn't it? Yes. We introduced it onto the internet. Yes. So how's your um, take, um, take the high road stuff and all that? Take the high road, absolutely brilliant. I mean, I'm not anything like in your league, but we are getting uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. You must be up to about, what, 400 now? Yes, uh -huh. I'm on, I'm on 492 now. Whoa, 492 editions of Take the High Road. Yeah. How fantastic. On STV Player, it's well worth a look, guys. Mm -hmm. And um, is, there, is there much happening in the UK, though? Is it still the same? Uh, in the UK? No, Ukraine. Is there, is there much oh, the Ukraine. Well, well, no, it's gone a little bit quiet. I think they're doing a lot of negotiating. So we'll we'll see what happens, and they don't want outsiders spoiling that. No, no, no. So I think I think that's what's happening there. Absolutely amazing. There's Scottish Max saying, "I'll take the low road." Yes. And there's the fabulous Sarah Queen saying, "Dinky do, Scotty. How's you, lovely Sarah? We're outstanding, and I hope you're just as stunningly wonderful as ever." Bumped you had on the McClure Tunnels. I thought we bumped was him out. Oh, the pheasant. That's Stanley, the pheasant. Yes. Yes, he comes and has a strut around. And if he sees me taking his photo, he goes, hey, hey, hey I don't want any publicity. And he does a runner. No way. And I had to try and keep ahead of him. And that's why you can't see his tail. He'd gone oh, completely wow. out of camera shot. And then I managed to get him back in. There's Chris Grant sending me another. 40 TikToks. Wow. The generosity on here is outstanding. It really is wonderful. Sarah says, I'm good, Scotty. Thank you. You're wonderful, Sarah. You're an angel. See that um, location? Are you, in, are you in your bedroom or, or are you in the study? I'm in, I'm in one of the studies. Oh, you nice. Lovely. So it might sound, does it sound a bit boomy? No, 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 it sounds, um, it sounds a lot more perfect. Right, right, excellent. Oh, that's excellent, Martin. Now, I'm going to have to dash. Is Emma fine? Yes, Emma's fine, so you can, um, you can um, talk to her next week. Excellent, wonderful. And uh, you take great care of your dear self and a big dinky do. Thank you, dear mate. Love you, Scotty. Love you lots. You're an absolute top man. See you, Martin. ta -ra -la. Right, there we are. That's our Martin. What a guy. Now, who have we got here? Hello, you're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scottish. Ah, Kareem. Kareem, well done, sir. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Do you know, somebody asked me last week, they said, do you think your phone in suffers because you get the same colors? I said, no, you're always better with a core of colors and good quality yes. colors we have here. We do have. And it's a good variety of calls as well. Always a Scotty. good variety of calls. Some light-hearted, some funny, some heavy, some political, some interesting, some perhaps less so, some social. Yes. You know, so you get the whole lot. Yes, absolutely. The, full, the full gambit. I, I seen your video earlier on. It came up about um, when you were, uh, you, you were paying tributes to... Prince Philip. Oh, Prince Philip. Well, no, that was, uh, that would be a year ago. Uh, and um, we broke the news within 15 minutes of Buckingham Palace announcing yes. it. Yes, yes. So somebody I've came down to the gates of the palace. It's a very honourable thing to do. Well, I just thought it was very important to get the news out there to the ordinary people on the internet who think, well, I, I don't hear these things. We don't move in these circles. Buckingham Palace obviously would have come and pinned a bulletin to the gate of the palace, and there would be journalists from mainstream media there. But I thought within 15 minutes, McClue's got it live on air. Yeah, yeah you know? absolutely. Out to the people. Kareem is the crop of colours, says Scottish Mac. That's pretty uh, good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Um, Scotty, as you know... The lovely I, Sarah Queen I, says, Oh, your smile has made my night. What an angel. Uh, <laughs> well, Scotty, look, listen, there's a lot of people that listen because you are very inspirational and very motivational as well. Um, during the lockdown, as I said, that was such a... Uh, 
it was a routine and it was just, I know I was really looking forward to every day when you were coming on and people speaking and, you know, and yeah, so. Well, do you know what I was thinking, Kareem? I thought we might try and do a lot more during the day over the next couple of weeks. Yes. So I don't know if you'd be up for that, but, you know, just pop up. I don't, when's a good time? Is 10 o'clock in the morning a good time? I think, well, the schools are off just now, you know, Easter holidays uh -huh. for the next two weeks. So I think lots of random pop-ups and yes. just thinking about. Yes, because you know? 9 o'clock's a bit too sharp for a lot of people on holiday, I think. Yes. You know, they're yes. getting their breakfast maybe, you know, half eight, quarter to nine, a lot of people that have a routine. And, yes. um, you know, they're not sort of thinking, oh, I'll need to stick Scotty on. But I think yes. also what's interesting about what we do, and it is interesting, because some yes. people were saying to me, how come I'm watching the YouTube and there's maybe half a dozen people watching? I say, yeah, but there's all the other platforms. You know, and I mean, this morning we popped up to 2,000 people. Now, it might not seem a lot, but if I was a priest or a minister or a vicar and 2,000 people turned up at my mat hands, I would be beside myself. Yeah. yeah. You know, I know I've said that before, but it's true. Um, yeah. and, and I think, no, no, this has got huge potential. We just need to be doing more of it. And as you say, maybe the random pop-ups have already set the notifications and then the word gets round. So I think yeah. word of mouth, do you watch Scotty McClure? Scotty McClure, I know who you mean, but what's he on? Is he on the BBC? Is he on ITV? No, he's on TikTok. And at yeah. first, people used to laugh at me and say, oh, that's just a lot of young people dancing and laughing. No, 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 no. You're not seeing the potential. Now we've yeah. got huge mainstream politicians on yeah. doing TikTok. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's another form. It's another part of the, the social media family. Yes, yes, absolutely. Kareem, let me just do a couple of things here. Hi from Birmingham, says P. William. Uh, the Heart of You says the King of Scotland, Scotty. Dinky Doo says Ryan. Two studies. Whoa. And um, there's Kareem's The Crop of the Collars. You remind me of Churchill. That's the dog from the insurance advert. What foot do you kick with? Both feet, depending what I'm playing. Winston was a Brooklyn, New York resident. Yes, he was. Winston Churchill stayed in New York. He was half American, of course. <laughs> Hello from New York, says the wonderful Mike Jackson. Now that's what I'm loving, Kareem. We've yes. got yourself on from Glasgow. We've got somebody on from New York. We've got somebody from Killarney. You know, and we're all just chatting away. Worldwide. Uh, Worldwide. Uh, you know, yep. and I think I still believe there's no fool like an old fool, Kareem, as you know. But uh, uh, well, you won't know actually, but I do. And um, uh, I still believe that this will suddenly snowball. Uh, Scotty, I've not ever doubted that. <coughs> and I think the videos that you have as well are there and it's, they're priceless and they'll be there for years to come. And when, when we when we all pass on, those videos will still be there. And they'll be sitting there. there. I suspect that when I die, I will become extremely famous. Because you know what yeah. it's like. You know, the prophet has no one on their own land, although I disproved that at Scott FM and Nation Radio. Yeah. Yeah. We'd actually yeah. disproved that. The people of Scotland took me to their bosoms. And now there's a phrase going around, Glasgow loves Scotty McClure. Yes, I heard that. I like that. And I said, well, Scotland loves Scotty McClure as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, these things are incredible. Uh, uh, the other one that I loved was if Lou Grade, I mean, Michael Grade has just been appointed, I think he's 79. And they uh, used to throw you out at 70 from the mainstream media, but I think he's 79, Michael Grade, very, very high up. Very big agency work, very high up as chairman of the BBC, managing gotcha. director of the BBC, I think, all that yeah. stuff. And he's a huge television name. And um, his uncle was Lou Grade of ATV. Right. Okay. And I think his father was Leslie and his other uncle was Bernard Delfont, Lord Delfont. And uh, uh, the grades have been sort of la creme de la creme of the entertainment industry since the 19... Whatever's 1940s, 1950s. So uh, somebody said Lou Grade was the one that brought us the Muppets and Thunderbirds and all that. 
And uh, somebody said, if Lou Grade was alive today, Scotty McClue would never be off our TV screens. Yes. Yes. You know? Absolutely. And you can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. Well, uh, it's the people, as you said, these producers are just like robots copying everybody else. There's nothing imaginative. There's nothing creative. No. Um, and it, it gets a bit... You know, like in the morning when you're listening to the radio going to work, I mean, we'll <laughs> through, but I always go through lots of stations. I don't stick to one nope. because I like to listen to different music. But they all play the same, uh, what do you call it, like quizzes. At same playlists, time. same quizzes. Same with telly, yeah. Kareem. If you if you zip through the telly with your uh, uh, with your your remote, your zapper, yes. everything is having an advert break at the same time. Now, if you're looking for a telly program, you're not going to sit on the ads. Hello. Yeah. You know, you're going to no. say, nah, 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 nah. Uh, all that stuff. And I think that just what we do is different. Mm -hmm. well, it's putting more power to the people, I think, instead of it being uh, the, the same boring stuff yeah. that's just been out to everybody. Is, yeah, so, uh, well, I think for the first up. time in the history of entertainment, the people mm -hmm. are more entertaining than a lot of the people who are, uh, you know, purporting to entertain us. <coughs> purporting yeah. to entertain yeah. us. Well, that's the beauty of TikTok, as you know, Scotty, the amount of videos that it's just normal people managing mm -hmm. to produce. And let's be honest, they're producing things a lot better than oh, big stars. Superb. Do you not sometimes flick through the TikTok, come upon a certain video and think, that is just outstanding. Genius, yes. That is just genius. so funny, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the beauty of it. But Scotty, what I was going to say very, very quickly was yes, sir. things, but the main thing was what I mentioned, I think, was it during the week we had a, uh, there was a call in and, and it was about the the Scottish government and the Welsh government yes. uh, are not they're leaving it up to, well, they're not going to distribute the, the the curriculum this new curriculum that's been put forward the Jubilee yeah where they're doing that in England now at first I, thought I was quite angry I thought well they should be having something to do it but then when it's put two together if you think of some areas where you know there's a lot that there's a lot of violence between the Catholics and Protestant and Unionism. And yeah. then maybe it's best not to stir things up. I, I don't know, but um, I, I think... Yeah, but I think we need to show. get the message across that nowadays the representative, the curator and custodian of the British Crown, uh -huh. uh, you know, is a defender of all faiths. Uh -huh. And I think that we need to get across that, um, you know, although we have a law that means a Catholic pro tem cannot sit on the throne because yes. they have so much trouble with the crown being run from Rome, that yeah. I think that we've got to get the message across to all our Irish brothers and sisters that the Queen is for all of you to enjoy. And, and when the yeah. Queen went to Ireland, to Dublin, to the President's house, um, I mean, they absolutely adored her. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I think, of course, the nerve is because of the history. But I think we need to get that across, you know. And she went to Rope Park and she knew what had gone on there and everything. Of course she did. And, uh, you know, Martin McGuinness went to meet her and they were chatting, you know. And, and I'm sure there was even a huge... Um, uh, tongue-in-cheek comment when Martin McGuinness said to her, how are you? And she said, well, I'm still alive. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Very witty. <laughs> yes, I just think, I mean, even if that wasn't meant, she's just very clever and very funny. <laughs> Do you think Jamaica is shooting itself in the face? Yes, I think America? any of these. You should look at the history of these people that have got yeah. rid of the British crown. And they've struggled and struggled and struggled. All of them. The whole lot. When you look at all the African countries, uh, you know, when you look at India, when you look at Eden, I mean, the trouble in Yemen and South Yemen at the moment is devastating. So all these, once the British have moved out, I mean, let's be honest, the British are not good at leaving a place. They're good at taking it over. They don't get the leaving necessarily right. But then... There is no clever way to leave. They did very, very well in Hong Kong. 
That was a very peaceful handover. Aidan, I think they were glad to get out under, you know, cover of the, the fleet air arm and what have you. Um, uh, you know, that from, from that point of view. But um, I, I, I just think that if you look at what happens, having the Queen around, having the Commonwealth is a huge bonus, a huge yeah. plus. And I also thought the guy from Jamaica, fine, we're not going to interfere in their foreign policy. But I think he could have, um, how can I say, I think he could have been a little bit more diplomatic to Prince William. And I think Prince William was incredibly good at the way he handled all of that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. Kate, of course. what lies in the future. I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, good luck to them. But, that were, that they were seeing the same. I can't it was recently in the news as well, but I just thought it's as if they're lining up for when, when the Queen finally does pass. Like, that's it. It's done. Now we go on. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, to be honest with you, the Commonwealth has been an incredibly good thing. 52 countries held yeah. together under a bond. You know, and as you know, we did very well out of Europe over 50 years, peace and prosperity. And, uh, you know, all that and, and our sovereignty was 100% intact anyway. <laughs> you know, we had our own head of state, always been the queen. What, I, what I'm also thinking here, um, and people don't necessarily notice this, but you get a lot of negativity about British colonialism. And if you look closely at most countries that have slid out from under uh, Britain's control and administration, uh, very often they've become part of the communist world. Right. right? So the push to get the British out of Africa was so that the Russians could get in there and take it over. <clears throat> See, people talk about Africa and India as poor countries. They're falling down with wealth. Yeah. Now, that doesn't yeah. mean that they can feed their people because you've got so much greed. But if yeah. we had a little bit of better distribution of wealth, just giving people a chance to live like we are seeing right now with the power companies, with the, the, the fuel companies, you yeah. know? That was going to be my very quick next point, Scott, to regard to that. that. I've watched some TikTok videos, as I'm sure you have, and it was it, it just, it's not going to affect me until the middle of July when yeah. the tariff runs out. But somebody put a video up yesterday that it was like 11 o'clock and already their gas and their electricity were at a pound each. You know, and I just thought you can imagine what that will be like in the winter. No, no, it's just it's just bad news. As I, I as I said before, we need to get everybody dressed up in thick woolens. We need yeah. Granny with a woolen beanie hat on, yeah. and we need to be able to say no gas used at all. Yeah. Well, I I I did say I think this. Well, for me, I'm, I'm twisting this just now back to independence slightly because. I think as a country, we are damn loyal to the, the Westminster. Yes. We're not the brightest bunch when it comes nope. to things at times, and we just keep going on and on and on. I think this is going to be the last straw for a lot of people here in Scotland that we, we, can't, we can't keep going on like this. Mm -hmm. um, and sadly, a lot of people are going to have to learn the hard way, and it's going to hit them badly financially and I'm quite surprised at the moment the business world is not kicking up a first Scotty because within the next couple of months you're going to see I mean people are going to be tightening up not spending that is going to have a massive impact within retail within leisure and um, and these are areas that can ill afford to have more punishment because they've yeah. suffered the worst Throughout uh, throughout the pandemic and throughout Brexit. Yeah. Well, if you keep hearing politicians talking about it's the most vulnerable and the poorest people, and correct, they need help, but they're going to be even they're going to be badly affected. But yeah. now it's going to be the working class and creeping up into the middle class. Yeah. And those people, if they can't get something, they will not spend money. You know, they're not going to. They'll, they'll keep it and they will save. And you're going to see. 
change will come in society. How it's going to be handled, I don't know. But I really think the Chancellor down south should be doing so much more. Yeah. And it's quite a shame. And I also but, think the Scottish Government should be looking at alleviating the pressure on people in the likes of the Isle of Lewis. They, yes. should, they should virtually have free energy because they've got huge wind power up there. Stick a windmill up and connect it to the grid, and the Lewis people have got free lakey. They've got that. If anything, if anything, Scotty, the SNP should be really capitalising this yep. and really pushing for independence. This is what's happening. Uh, I've mentioned, I think, during the week there, if you look at Alba, the Alex Salmon's party, mm -hmm. he's, I think he's a fantastic politician, whether yes. you like him or not. It doesn't matter but, whether you like him. It's not a popularity contest. He is an outstanding politician. You know, and until until uh, all that carry on, he hadn't put a foot wrong. He never put a foot wrong anyway. But, uh, you know, there had never been anything negative published about Alex Salmond. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, everything was fine, cleared in the courts, and he's moved yeah, on now. Absolutely. And, well, I would, if, if I'd been the SNP, I would have got him back in as the president. Yes. Or something. Yeah. I still think I think when there's regime change in the SNP, I think there'll be there'll be something down the line. I think. Yes. Maybe. Yes, there should you be, know. and and uh, you know, I hope he would be into that because uh, you know, whatever as you say, whatever you think, um, the man is an outstanding politician, and he can make things happen. Definitely, you know, and if, if you look at the videos that they're producing just now. They're so inspirational, they're so motivational, it was wanting you to get out and to make change. And I yep. just think, I think the SNP are becoming a bit complacent. I just, you know, I think they need a wee kick up the backside to, right, let's get this motivation. Yeah, you've got to watch complacency. Out. And as I said to you last week, all this, it's not the right time. It's always the right time. When is the right time, Scott? The right time is now. The, you know, this is yeah. the time. I would say yeah. this is a perfect time for Indira F2. Absolutely. Well, listen, Scotty, thank you very much for taking my call. And, Not at all. Uh, I look forward to your, your pop-ups. I'm going uh, to Abbey more, Abbey more on Monday for two days. All right, so, excellent. Well, I don't know if you'll manage to get to the wee ruined chapel at Rocky Marcus. <laughs> the snow is covered up there. Ah, the well, so you won't, you won't, Kareem. It'll be, it'll be, you wouldn't see anything anyway. It'd just be a load of yeah. snow, you know what I mean? But, yeah, uh, yeah. but have a lovely, lovely time, my dear fellow, because you deserve it. Thank you. And I'll try and uh, hopefully there'll be signal up there. And if you're on the pop-ups, I'll get on to that. I'll just come on for a wee blather, even time. for a minute or two. It'll be lovely. Dinky do, Kareem. Dinky do. See you, la la. There we are. What a top man. How fantastic is that? You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Hello, Scotty. Hello, who's that? Richard, how lovely to have you with us. Yes, turn it down a wee bit and then we can hear you. Aye, Scotty, I can hear you now. Two seconds, Hello. Richard. I just need to tell the people. TikTok here. Hi from Texas. Fantastic. Hi, says Seth Sydney. Hi from Australia. You're very famous already, Scotty, says the wonderful Angela. Big Scotty should be Prime Minister. What changes would you make, Scotty? There won't be much to live for soon. J.D. Donnelly, there's always something to live for, even if it's Scotty McClure on TikTok. Good evening, Scotty. Let me second that. Evening, Scotty. And everybody is following us. Get following, guys. Dinky do. Thanks very much, Richard. Now then, what's happening? Uh, well, Scotty, I'm just sitting here relaxing, and I thought I would give a wee call like last week. I just thought I would call in. I just I love to hear your accent. It's beautiful. Uh, isn't it funny, Scotty, that all the people over here hear our accent? You know, well, not us, but I mean, we oh. hear our own accent. Is that right? Because uh, I absolutely love it. Yeah, we we, we don't like it, Scotty. But, but, but I was listening to the very attempt leader to Kareem, you know? Yes. Uh, uh, and I have to explain to him a bit that, you know, I I was raised on, on on the on on the person side of the fence, Scotty, and then converted. Yes, absolutely. And I think that a lot of people don't quite understand. I can remember 
hearing a story about, I think it was the May's prison, when they had both sides in there. And they quite often communicated what had happened. I think if I remember right, tell me if this was right. You had uh, one lot on one side, another lot in the middle, and the same lot on the other side. So what they found they could do was with a half tennis ball, send each other notes. So they would stick a note in and throw it over and, you know, get it to the other side. And... Um, Apparently, sometimes the tennis ball landed in the middle. So let's say it was the Catholic side and they hadn't made it to the other Catholic side and it had landed in the Protestant bit in the middle. Somebody said to me, what do you think happened to that ball? And some people would say, well, it probably disappeared. You say, no, it didn't. They just flung it over to the next lot because they knew it was nothing to do with them. <laughs> Aye, no, no, Scotty, I think that's what they've done, okay. Yeah. But what I was going to say... Is, is that true, or was, is that just made up? No, no, I think that's true, okay. Yeah. But what I was going to say was, Scotty, you know, uh, even among die-hard Republicans, they may hate the British government. They do not hate the Queen. No. Funny enough. No. Absolutely. Well, you see, if you go right back, was it Arthur Griffiths that was the right back to the Brotherhood? Yes, to indeed. The Fenian Brotherhood. He was a huge monarchist. He just didn't like the Sax Coburg setup. That's exactly right. You That's know? That's exactly right. I've, I, I have tried to educate people and explain to them, you know, people need to understand that the original. Um, the forerunner to the IRA, when it was the old IRA, the forerunner to that um, was the Irish Brotherhood. The, the, the Irish, Irish Brotherhood, Brotherhood, yes. Now, were they not what were known as the original Fenian Brotherhood? They were, and, and formed, and formed, Scotty, by Presbyterian ministers. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, William of Orange himself his character was shocking. Uh, yes, it was. You know, he was a, he was actually a very, very bad man. He was a tyrant. Um, you know? And and people people don't realize that. And uh, you know, there's there's all that in history. Also, the Battle of the Boyne. It was really a skirmish. And 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 sorry. what people don't realize, the Protestant side wore green. You see, it's very, very interesting when you have these things. People like to, how can I put this? They like Richard to be historical revisionists. Oh, definitely, Scotty. And they like their own narrative. So they cherry, they cherry pick the bits about their own lot and uh, everybody else is bad. They're good. Well, I'm enjoying the life, Lynn, Scotty. And as always, it's great to talk to you. So I hope that... Everyone in the room has a good evening. I do, Richard, and I hope that you have a wonderful evening. It's a privilege and a pleasure talking with you. And I would like to see everybody in Northern Ireland come on for a chat. Ah, fantastic, Scotty. Because I remember, I remember somebody saying to me, you should be on the radio in Northern Ireland, Scotty. They'd love it. And I said, right, I'll have a chat. And one of the programmers was a little bit frightened. He said, well, the problem is we've got the marching season coming up. I said, that's nothing to do with it. Anyone can phone Scotty McClure. Exactly, Scotty. And this is what it's all about. It's all about embracing each other and being friendly. Yes. And you know, you can have a difference of opinion without being aggressive or yeah. nasty. My experience of the people of Northern Ireland is that their manners are outstanding. Well, I appreciate you saying that, Scotty. So there uh, you are. Uh, I was just talking to somebody today on, on TikTok, and I said, when are you going to get my square sausage over to Belfast? That's what it's about, and when are we going to get the Belfast ham? <laughs> Scotty, it's, it's been brilliant talking to you. Lovely, Richard. 
Have a good evening, everyone in the ring. And you take great care of your dear self, and dinky do. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, so. There we are. That's our Richard from Northern Ireland, see, on having a bit of a chit chat. I love it. Uh, Detroit, Tony, why not drop the law that the crown cannot be held by a Catholic? Because, Tony, it's not a question of dropping the law, the act of secession. It's the fact they didn't want the crown run from Rome, which is what the declaration of our growth in the 1340s was all about as well, because that was the aristocracy of Scotland writing to His Holiness the Pope to say, can we choose our own king? And this is why they wanted Robert the Bruce. Uh, it seems, what have we got here? That it's a tool that serves to divide. Detroit, yes, indeed. We'll be on tomorrow morning. Cameron, who knows what the day will bring? The government got rid of the unwanted green tax, 25%, and VAT, 5%. It's a con, says Angela. Just became a top three viewer. We thank you very much, Gray. That is so good of you. Who's on the telephones here? You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Good evening, Scotty. Thank you to you, Charlie. Charlie, how Charlie. lovely to hear you. Welcome, sir. Yes, I've not phoned you for that time. You haven't yeah. phoned me for far too long, but please don't tell me you're not thoroughly enjoying tonight, because I am. No, I am. I, absolutely. Um, Scotty, I just want to, um, uh, about the award ceremony last Sunday. Yes. And obviously what happened with uh, the actor slapping the comedian. Yes. Um, I think, you know, I, I would have thought that the producers, et cetera, would have known, I would imagine that, the, you know, the comedian telling a joke about the actor's wife, that they would have, they would have kind of predicted what was going to happen. Right. So therefore, they could have cut what would, you know, what did happen. They could have cut it out, but, but furthermore, they then allowed um, the actor to, you know, to swear and all that back at the, you know, back yeah. at the presenter. And I thought that was a bit in bad taste. Well, I think the whole thing was in bad taste, even if it was at the worst stretch of the imagination, a setup. It was still in bad taste. What happened was in bad taste. The outcome was bad taste. Now, they say there's no such thing as bad publicity, but in actual fact, there is because the people have limits. And I think back to when the Oscars was something you sat up for on late night television in this country and uh, or you saw it recorded the next time and I think of real gentlemen like Bob Hope, uh, the comedian, introducing the Oscars. I think of real gentlemen like Sir Alec Guinness receiving his award and saying thank you all very much indeed. I think yeah, of um, I think of Sidney Poitier the first person of colour to win an award, am I not right? And I think how ashamed they would have been of the behaviour of these two people. Absolutely, Scotty, because, I mean, obviously, you know, in particular, the actor himself is, you know, it, it inspires people and yes. people look up to him, you know, yes. people look up to him and, you know, and this idea, you know, that, that it was actually shown, I, I'm sure, you know, they, they, they would have been able to cut that and I wonder what would have happened if you'd had a white person slapping a black person. Yeah, absolutely. Do you see, do you see what I mean? So you're bringing in, you're opening a huge can of worms that people are trying to settle. Yeah, absolutely, Scotty. As I say, I just feel that they should have um, done the right thing and, and cut it so that that's yes. not out there in the public domain. I mean, obviously... The media would have got wind of it, it would have been out there in the media, but the actual footage and the language that was used yeah. wouldn't have been out there in the media. Yeah, because although you hear that language in movies and things like that, um, there, there is a time and a place, I would go so far as to say there's a time and a place, because these are words, but... Um, I, for one, on social media, and I'm not saying I'm a saint by any means, but what I'm saying is on social media, I feel if somebody swears, they lose, they devalue their post 100%. And I hear it, so, so as soon as they do that, I think, nah, 
You've, you, that your yeah. post was actually very good until you effed and jeffed. Yeah, absolutely. There's no need for it. Nope. So, okay, I mean, people, people can, um, can surely be intelligent enough to carry a conversation without that. that yes, type of absolutely. You know, and 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 we yeah. need to. It's creeping in now. People are using it all the time, and we need to explain that that is not, uh, you know, good social behaviour. It's anti exactly anti social behavior because Will Smith could have said, "Keep my wife's name out of your mouth." Yeah, absolutely. And everybody would have thought a lot more about that. Yeah, absolutely, Scotty. The other thing I wanted to speak about as well, which I think is is, is, is kind of a dangerous in its in itself actually, and that is is that um, the the British have supplied um, arms to Ukraine, which I can understand why, of course. But um, one one of the you know one of the um, missiles that, that brought down a helicopter it was then mentioned in the media that it was Britain that was involved in that and and and, and, and Vladimir Putin has actually mentioned that they're going to be um, you know that that's a game changer in a sense yeah I think you know the media has been irresponsible in, in, by by mentioning it was it was from ourselves actually brought down that helicopter yes I mean I I think perhaps the relationships with the media have changed you know and particular you know the military and the media used to have uh, certain boundaries shall we say so an old friend of mine who was a journalist in northern ireland during the troubles he could be meeting the head of the army in the morning and the head of the ira in the afternoon you know, he would have been put in the boot of a an old Ford Ford car or something and trundled away up a scheme. Yeah, that's it. But you know, there's certain there's certain information I would say that really should be kept um, stum. Yeah. Right? Um. You know, you don't you don't mention that, and I honestly think that we're, we're we're causing problems for ourselves. Really. I I think I think you've got a fair point, but I mean, you know, armaments companies do always want to make sales. And obviously, it's uh, it's been approved that uh, you know that particular these particular sales can be made to uh, to that particular setup. Um, yeah. But uh, as as you say, there's no need to highlight all these things. No, exactly, absolutely, Scotty. Well, that's all I've got to say, anyway, um, Scotty. No, nope. Charlie, listen, well. listen. That's an incredible thing to come out with. Fantastic, lovely talking to you, and thank you, dear. Thank you. Cheers, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. Bye -bye. Thank you do, Lala. Fantastic. Bye -bye. What a top man. Right. Uh, to your telephones, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We're very, very busy tonight. We've got another 10 minutes or so. Thank you, do, everybody. Thank you, do, Mike Raymond. Lovely to have you with us. How are you from Ireland? Michael Cash. Thank you, do. Uh, there's Long John. Good evening, Scotty. Thank you, do, your good friend. Long John checking in once again fascinating michael the whole thing's fascinating there we are i learned two things that a catholic can't be king and why because of the 1701 act of secession and uh, they didn't want the stuarts who had gone protestant catholic catholic protestant they didn't want the um throne to be run from rome because as you know, at the higher echelons of Catholicism, you're going to be taking your directives from His Holiness. So there we are. And I can well understand it. There's Richard switching to YouTube. Thank you, Richard. So lovely to have you with us. Hello from Paisley in Glasgow. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, please get subscribing. If you're watching on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClure. If you're watching on Facebook Live, Dinky Do from Scotty McClue. If you're watching on TikTok at Scotty McClue, follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. Get following on TikTok, guys. Hello from Paisley in Glasgow. Paisley near Glasgow. Big dango. Uh, once you swear the high ground's gone, good manners cost nothing, Richard. 100%. Oh, the Gleska banter says Big Dangle. Well, the cat's out the bag now. Russia knows we supply weapons. So why to try hold back on supporting it? Well, no, I don't think it's a question of, I'm just saying, does it need to be underlined? So there you are. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you can sell your arms uh, to anybody. That's always been the case. 
and the richest people from war were the people that came in on both sides. 3,900 likes, guys. How amazing are you lovely, lovely people. Hello, says Niall. Hello, Niall. Dinky do. You have a lot of knowledge, says Big Dangle. Well, no, I had to acquire it pre-internet because we couldn't just sort of, uh, you know, look up a website because they didn't exist. So there's all my knowledge came from books, from conversations, from radio, from television, all that sort of from people at the top of their field. There's Doogie sending me likes, 4,000 likes. That's not bad, is it? I tell you. Uh, the cat's out the bag now. Yes, absolutely. Does anybody know where that phrase comes from? And would they like to tell us all? The cat is out the bag. Incredible stuff. Um, hi, Scotty. This is the wonderful Kirsty Allen. Dinky do Kirsty. Well said, Scotty. Regarding the Oscars. Thank you, Jerry. There's Murray. Tap the dollar. Absolutely. Thank you, Murray. Uh, good evening from the East Coast, Scotty. Charlie, how lovely to hear your ears for the East Coast. Ken, there we are. Now then, who else have we got here? Dinky do I sit here. Wonderful. Oh, what a terrific. There's Neil Gormley. Scotty, a wee shout out for my daughter Connie. She opened her second pub today down here in Bournemouth. I'm proud of my baby girl. So you should be, Neil. Uh, we'll say Kareem is a good call. Isn't he just? And I think that you and I uh, are good judges of what is a good call. Kareem, have you heard anything about the possibility of private schools being banned on the grounds of promoting equal access to education? You tell him, Scotty, she deserves to be celebrated and honoured. Her Majesty the Queen more than deserves to be celebrated and honoured. So there we are. Scotty, my dear fellow, how are you? Fantastic. Wait a wee second here. We've got so much feedback here, guys. A uh, fantastic Scottish Eddie boy. Your camera is very clear, Scotty. Quality. Thank you very much. We are saving up for new equipment. If anybody's feeling flush, send us a few TikToks. That would be wonderful. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Glenn. Oh, Glenn Dinky Doola. How lovely to have you with us. There's Long John saying, What a great stream, Scotty. Where these uh, TV, TV companies, you know, that put all these mainstream channels out. Yeah. These, I'm no, not mentioning no name of companies. No names, no pack drill, yeah. What do you reckon? Back in the day, they used to just be like one to four in their channel four. No, 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 no. Glenn, you're a modern man. Listen to your old chum McClue here. Back yeah. in the day, there was one television channel called oh, nice BBC guy. Television. That's the, that was the only one. We had a television set uh, until 1957. Sorry, yeah. until 1955, there was only one channel, and that channel was BBC Television, and it opened up at lunchtime yeah. for the children's uh -huh. programs. Yeah. And the children's programs were on a Monday, picture book, yeah. a lady with a book. Yeah. Tuesday was Andy yeah. Pandy, Luby Lou. Uh, Wednesday yeah. was the flower pot men, Thursday yeah. was ragtag and bobtail, and Friday was oh. the wooden tops. Scotty, I've, I've heard you, obviously I've seen all these, I've, it's of a before my time, obviously Scotty's coming, it's before your time as well, really. <laughs> Well, no, it's not before my time. I mean, 1955 was before my time. Yeah. But we yeah, we had a television okay. set. It only got BBC. Scotty, I'm trying to say you're not old enough. No, you're very good. You're very kind. I yeah. love it. I got that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, Scotty, I love all these old programs, to be honest. There's, well, listen to this, Glenn. Here's Richard saying, I remember getting so excited when ITV came alive. Yeah. And I think there was 10 companies. There was ABC, ATV, uh, you had London yeah. Weekend, you had Associated Rediffusion, you had okay. Granada, you know, and that was kind of, you know. Scott, do, you, do you think since more channels have come out, 
compared to what it used to be back in the day that he spoilt it or... Well, I think in a way, I said to somebody, why don't you put Scotty McClue on your TV channel and I'll do what I do? And he went, yeah. Scotty, you're better doing what you do because well, some of the audiences are so small. Well, so I mean, to be fair about it, Scotty, there's a lot of these channels that they just put programs on just for the sake of it, don't they? Well, yes, of course they do because they're just hoping to get a share of the advertising cake. Yeah. But what yeah. happens is it just makes the cake smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it it starts to fragment the advertising budgets. So is, is that a way of progression in a way? Uh, well, I don't know that it's progression. I'll tell you what I think is progression. TikTok. Yeah. I think that's progression because everybody can get it right away on their phones. There's no license fee. It's absolutely huge. Blah, blah, blah. Listen to this guy, Scotty, you're world class, but the phone-in's a bit dull tonight. Now, everybody else is saying the phone-in's outstanding tonight. Scotty, if, if, Scotty, if he's got a cheek to say, say something like that, why doesn't he come in and contribute? Absolutely. Why doesn't he phone up and write? I've said this for years, Glenn. When people yeah. say, oh, it's always the same class. I said, have you phoned? They can talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. They can't walk the walk, la la. Absolutely. There's uh, there or not saying, have you got the Vanden Pla out of the garage today? What, one of best, Scotty, one of best things about modern stuff, though, usual, when you can find anything on there, can you? Yeah, and here's Long John. TikTok is great. It connects young audiences with knowledgeable gentlemen such as yourself. Do you watch a lot of fellow YouTube uh, TikTokers in Scotland? Yes, I do. I absolutely do. I mean, I think TikTok is fantastic. Yes, there's some yeah. nonsense on it, but there's some genius. Definitely, yeah. You know, I love I, it. I like, I'm an all rounder. I like anything really, Scotty, to be fair. Richard saying, you all seem to forget Scotty McClure was a major host on Radio Clyde. The, the only, Scotty, the only, I'm everywhere else, Scotty, but the only thing we miss really. Is the good old days, Scotty, when you used to be on radio? Yes. You know, you know, you say it weren't controversial, but it was what it were, weren't it? Well, it were controversial in, to a certain it, extent. It were, it were brilliant, Scotty. You're never going to get them days back. But no, you can't get these. Uh, even if we went on now, the audience would have changed. That's like I said, there'll always be one or two people that'll be similar to that. Although, Glenn, do you remember I told you when I'd been away for about two years, I was back in Hallam and um, yeah. I picked up the phone. And all I said was, Hallam FM, good afternoon. And this woman yeah. said, hang on a minute, are you him? Yeah. And she's shouting, my husband loves you. Hallam's <laughs> still there, Scotty, though, yeah. Oh, it? yeah. And I'd love, yeah. I'd love to go back on for old times' sake. Yeah, is anybody still there from when you were? I, I don't know. I would need to check up uh, who's on the the old uh, playlist at the moment. You know, to see who was there, to see whether anybody remembers you. Yeah, absolutely, Glenn. I'm going to have to dash, la. Nice one, Scott. You Peace take on. great care. Away. Night, night, la. Nice see you, Lala. There's our Glenn. Glenn. Fantastic. What a top man. Right, uh, from the Midlands, from Sheffield, but living in the Midlands. Uh, Scotty's been doing this job for years. It's what he does. He's great at his job, says Long John. Long John, you've been very, very kind to me. Now, our beautiful TikTokers, we are out of time. I'm going to have to say dinky do and ta ta to you lot. Night night. Thanks for watching. There's our beautiful TikTokers. We've had to go because if you're over the hour, then that's it. The game is up. But uh, we've got our beautiful, beautiful YouTubers. We've got our beautiful, beautiful uh, Facebook Lives. We've got our beautiful, beautiful Twitchers, Scotty underscore McLean. Uh, Kareem is a good call. Yes, we love that. You're welcome, Kareem. Good night, Scotty, Suzanne, and Jerry. Sleep well. We'll talk during the week. Now, guys, set your notifications. Because I'm going to be doing random pop-ups over the next week or two. All right. So get your act together and set your notifications on TikTok, on YouTube, on Facebook Live, uh, you know, on Twitch. Let me know when Scotty McClue goes live. All right. Do that. Make sure you've subscribed to the YouTube channel and make sure you're watching all the videos on TikTok and following. 
This is Scotty McClure saying thank you to VJ has sent me three pounds. VJ, thank you so much. A wee donation. And Murray's dropped a donation as well. Murray, you are very, very kind. Lovely. Guys, we're out of time. I love you all. Good night, Dinky Doo, and ta-ta, lads.